So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself first, and then we'll get into the program just so you know um, the concept design program. Um, it, the curriculum was designed by me. I'm a working concept artist. I've been working in the film industry for uh, 33 years now. So all the curriculum comes from my experience of what works in the industry, both the game industry, visual development, um, the film industry, all those areas of, of concept design. Um, these are some, some movies that uh, I've worked on. Um, I just finished Black Panther 2, and before that, uh, Thor 4, um, uh, Love and Thunder. And I've done over 100 movies. Uh, I, do, I end up doing a lot of Marvel films, which you'll see on here, but um, I've also done a variety. Um, as I said, currently, um, I just finished Thor and, and um, Black Panther 2, but I also worked on Suicide Squad 2 and Star Trek Picard. And um, the other two are in development that I've been working on over the last year and a half as well, a remake of Akira and Citadel, which is a Netflix series from the Russo brothers, the, uh, who directed um, Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. This is a little bit of my artwork from some of those projects you see there, um, like the gauntlet itself and uh, Captain America and Guardians of the Galaxy and um, the Batmobile. So as I said, I have a lot of experience in a lot of different areas in the film industry. These are some more images from Star Trek and Iron Man and um, all sorts of stuff, Spider-Man. Um, so that's, that's me. Let's get into the program a little bit and what a concept designer is. A lot of students sometimes get confused as to exactly what a concept designer does. Some students will come to me and say, hey, Tim, I, I want to be a concept designer. And I'm like, really, what do you want to do? And they'll describe something completely different than what a concept designer actually does. So I thought we would you know, solve that right here and now. Um, what we do as a concept designer is we, we interpret and visualize stories. So I'll, I'll read a script and work with the director, the producer, the production designers to, to visualize those ideas and make them real um, in the use of film, video games, animation, comic books, um, all sorts of different type of media. And this is all done in pre-production before it goes into final productions. So concept designers have to be capable of articulating and designing architecture, environments, characters, hardware. Like if you saw in my, um, the examples of some of my work from movies, you saw everything in there from vehicles to environments to characters. We've, we've got to be able to do all that stuff um, equally. A lot of people will just say, oh, I want to be a character designer. And you can focus on that area, but you got to be capable of some of the other areas too. At CCS, we have um, just amazing facilities. Our, um, in the entertainment arts department alone, we've got a, a beautiful lab spaces. We have six lab spaces, including a VR and AR lab space, full green screen stages, um, super powerful computers for you to work on, all set up with um, Cintiqs that go along with the computers. And, um, a huge bundle of packages for software that include everything from ZBrush to Moto and obviously Blender um, and the Adobe suite. So you're, you're working in lots of different software packages along with having um, amazing equipment and facilities at your, at your disposal. We also have the metal, glass, and wood and foundry shops that you, you um, have access to as well if you're interested in those areas. Um, there's two campuses and we, we mainly stay on the Ford campus where concept design is housed, but there's a lot of interaction with other departments on that campus like the crafts department and illustration. So this is a little bit of the student work um, coming out of the program. This is Molly's work. She's currently working for 343 now. She graduated and got a job at 343 and she's been working on Halo. Um, and uh, Jeremy Hunter's work as well down here. And um, he graduated and he's been working on She-Hulk for Marvel, which is gonna be coming out on Disney Plus, I think 
either next next fall or something like that. I'm not sure, but this is some of his work. So you can see some of his process up there and then um, how he realizes it to a final rendering at the end. So again, everything from you know environments to character that you see here in some of these students' work. Um, you know, you'll see how we go about a design process where you may look at um, an insect and create an architectural language from that insect, um, things like that. So we teach you how to think differently when you're interpreting story so that you become a very unique designer, uh, just, just, just as opposed to somebody who copies stuff that they see on the internet, which I see a lot. So we'll, we'll teach you how to be very unique and, and um, having a portfolio that, that is competitive in the industry. Um, the other great thing about the program is we're, we're um, giving you a lot of exposure to industry as well. So it doesn't matter that we are housed in Detroit, just through uh, my contacts and my faculty's com contacts. Um, we're, a lot of the West Coast people will come out and visit us um, during our industry days. So we have a thing called EA Expo and, and um, where producers, art directors, production designers, other concept artists will come and, and watch and look at students' work. Uh, you can see these walls. This is during the event itself. So we've had everyone from Neville Page come out to Peter Ramsey, who just won an Oscar for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. He came two years ago. Um, and then they also do presentations for, for you guys so that you get some insight to uh, the industry as well as giving you feedback on your portfolio. So internships have come out of these events, along with um, some job offers. I was showing you Molly's work, who's working for 343. Their recruiter came out to this event and saw Molly's work and offered her a job as soon as she graduated. Um, so you get a lot of you got a you get a lot of industry contact here at CCS as well as long uh, as well as um, great instruction. So this is one of the examples of one of the presentations that were given during Expo as well. Um, that's Devin down there with his wall. He's working for Disney right now as a visual development artist um, in Disney Features. So these are some of the companies that um, we have relationships with that also um, have been out for EA Expo and Industry Days. Everyone from Disney to uh, Blizzard and, and Marvel, 343, Sony. Um, we have... Um, all sorts of for folks that come out every year and also um, Zoom, things like that. And we'll talk about um, some of the instruction through Zoom in a second. So our alumni are doing some pretty amazing things. I had mentioned a couple earlier to you and, and some others are uh, Warren Manser and uh, Edna Tividad, uh, Andre Epson, um, so Warren designed Batman, Superman, uh, Wonder Woman. Um, these are examples of uh, his renderings for those, those characters in those films. And Edna Tividad did um, uh, the Batmobile from Batman versus Superman, uh, along with some other stuff. So we've got a lot of, um, lot of successful uh, people that have come out of CCS and that are doing amazing things in the industry right now. Uh, Andre Epson is working on The Mandalorian. He's, he's um, worked on both seasons and uh, also Boba Fett as well. Um, now, so not only are these people alumni, but um, this is part of the outreach that we do is making sure that your instructors are working concept designers, right? So um, you're being taught by well-known concept designers that are working in the film industry and the game industry today, um, right now. So uh, this year, Shay Schatz have been, uh, was teaching, uh, John Fry, we've had um, Sean Hargraves and Sam Mitchlap, Ahmed al -Dori. So all the biggest name concept artists are teaching in this program. So you're learning from the best and um, regardless of where they live, again, it's, they're teaching through Zoom and it's just like being in the classroom with them where you share screens and they do paint overs and critiques right there and workshop your work in, in each one of these classes. Um, so that's, that's one of the biggest um, advantages to this program is the, 
is the instruction that you get from people that are actually working in the industry and not just working, but are also big names in the industry. So I'm gonna hand it over to Olivia and she can talk to you a little bit about um, applying and um, the application deadlines, things like that, a little more about that process. And then, and then um, I could talk to you a little bit about portfolios and what I expect to see in, in, in your portfolios for submission. Yeah, sure thing. Thanks, Tim. Uh, so for those of you who might be seniors in high school now, or maybe you're juniors and you are um, getting ahead of the game and thinking about uh, colleges that you're going to apply to, um, this is a little bit about our application um, admissions process. So when you are a senior, um, our application is available to seniors um, starting August 1st. Our application opens each year. It is for um, the app online application, just a basic form of your info. It, um, it's free to fill out. That's what we want you to do first. And then we need to see your high school transcripts. So we're looking for a 2.5 GPA or higher. That's your overall high school GPA. Uh, those are usually um, submitted through parchment.com or, um, or Naviance. Uh, those are usually the websites that will send your transcripts to us. And then we also want to see your artwork. We are looking for a portfolio of your best artwork. And Tim can give a little bit of information on um, portfolio specific to concept design because those, uh, those requirements are a little bit different than uh, the rest of the majors. Um, but yeah, we need to see your um, online application, your transcripts, and a portfolio of your best artwork. Uh, for students who might not be so sure about what to submit in their portfolios, I strongly encourage, regardless of what grade you're in, getting feedback from admissions. And I can drop a link in the chat um, to how to get feedback from an admissions counselor um, at the end of this. Um, being able to understand what your strengths, weaknesses are, and what to look at or what to build um, further in your portfolio, super important in helping get um, an acceptance letter to CCS. Um, so deadlines you do want to pay attention to um, are December 1st. Our early action deadline is um, for students who want to be considered for our highest tuition scholarships and early registration. Uh, those, um, those dates vary from college to college that you're looking at, so just pay attention to those. Uh, financial aid and scholarships. So students who are accepted to CCS are automatically considered for merit-based scholarships. These are uh, amounts determined based, um, based on the strength of your high school uh, GPA and your, the strength of your overall portfolio. Uh, this was the uh, 20,500 was about the average um, amount of scholarship um, and grant package of um, money that didn't have to be repaid for students in 2019, 20, 2020 school year. We also want you to apply for the FAFSA. Um, so if you are interested in getting eligibility or seeing what eligibility you have for grants and loans to help pay for your education, you do want to fill out the FAFSA. Um, you need to do that every year for the, um, for the times that you are or for the years that you are in school. And if you are um, interested in CCS learning more about us, you can always, um, like I said, schedule an appointment with an admissions counselor. We do virtual um, tours, and we also are doing uh, in-person tours of our campus and facilities as well. So um, if you are in the area or you're coming from out of town and you want to get in touch with us and see the campus, definitely let us know and we will um, set that up for you. Um, and if you have any other questions, you can, like I said, you can put them in the chat. Um, you can um, unmute yourself and, um, and say them out loud, whatever, whatever is most comfortable for you. All right. Thanks, Olivia. Um, so, Olivia had mentioned a little bit about portfolio and, and that it's a little different with, with concept design. And there's a reason for that. And I'll go through it um, with you and answer any questions past that. Um, concept designers, as you know, as I just said, have to be capable of all these different areas, characters, environments, architecture, um, hardware. And so it's, it's a, highly, highly competitive field. And so the, the um, portfolio requirements equal that. So I need to see examples of, of all four of those areas. I'll share my screen again. And, and if you go to CCS's website, there's the portfolio requirements on it, but this is just a screen grab from the website. Um, can everybody see that okay? Is it big enough? Yep, that's good. Okay. so. Um, when you submit a, a portfolio for concept design, it's due February 1st. And I'm interested in who you are as a storyteller as well as how you visualize it, right? So I, I want people to um, either choose an existing story and reimagine it or something that they, a story that they make up on their own, which is great. 
and um, just write a small paragraph of a synopsis of what that story is. And then you'll submit 15 to 20 pieces um, digitally uh, in a landscape orientation um, in a PDF from there. And th those um, 15 to 20 images have to include all four subject areas, one of environments, characters, architecture, and hardware. When I say hardware, that means vehicles, props, weapons, accessories, things like that. Biggest thing is I wanna see your process. So I wanna see inspiration, like photographs that inspired you, um, or if there's a picture you took that inspired you, and then early development sketches to value studies, and then your finished rendering. I wanna see how you think before you get to your finished rendering. Um, that's really important to show rough to finish for me. And, and as part of your presentation, um, it allows me to see how you're interpreting story and how you're working through um, your problem solving. So that's, um, that's what's included in your portfolio. Generally, if you do 20 pieces, you can, you can, you know, a lot five pages to each category so if you're to do five environments like process leading to a final five pages of characters um, five pages of hardware five pages you know of environments that way that'll equal to the, the 15 to 20. some people submit a whole lot more than that um, that's fine but generally the sweet spots in that 15 to 20 pages uh, slot okay do we have any questions?